Have we been lied to about sustainability? Does the government have our best interest at heart and our children's? What if I told you that true sustainability does not depend on reliance of others, but reliance on ourselves? According to the Georgia Guidestones, we were supposed to be in perpetual balance with nature. But then, out of the other side of their mouth, they say that animals are the leading cause of climate change. But then how is it that the very nature we're supposed to be in balance with is apparently the Achilles heel for climate change? Why are we and our children expected to eat lab-grown food and bugs? How is depending on labs for food and factories for bugs sustainable? Well, what exactly is sustainability? According to Google, sustainability is the ability to maintain or support a process continuously over time. If that were the case, wouldn't true sustainability begin at home? Of course, not everyone everywhere can become fully self-sufficient growing their own food. But back in the 40s, the government had a different plan for the people. The idea was then that we could all take a part in sustainability. With victory gardens, we could prevent starvation. And we could take a controlling hand in feeding ourselves and others. Now, the government seems to have a different idea on sustainability, which in some cases involves a ban on seeds and gardening supplies. Why? Because they're not necessary. Meanwhile, our transportation system has been failing, with record numbers of driver shortages. And meanwhile, making tougher regulations for emissions on these vehicles, which in turn increases equipment costs while the market is already inflationary, which in turn will increase the cost of your food even more. How sustainable is ever rising costs to natural food? I'm sure as they artificially increase the cost that it will make more sense to eat chemical garbage. Meanwhile, the USDA is paying farmers to destroy the food they create. And of course, the USDA is denying this, but many farmers have shown their letters. While food factories are coincidentally burning down all over the country, simultaneously they're wiping out entire farms and flocks of birds if there is even so much as a suspected infection in your flock. All across the world, food production is becoming more and more unstable, and it seems to me as if it's not a coincidence. Henry Kissinger, a globalist, once said that who controls the food also controls the people. Maybe then it could make sense why some globalists are the largest farmland owners in the country who are also invested in other sources of food. Perhaps this is less about sustainability and more about control. So what's the alternative to eating bugs? How about we take control for ourselves? Let's take control for our lives. Oh, it's so cute, huh? Real sustainability begins with life. Thank you. And showing our children the truth about life, food, and liberty. I'm far from perfect, but there's no reason to not try. In fact, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we all should try with whatever we have available. I fail pretty frequently. But I'm sure you've heard the saying, Live free. What are you drawing? A chicken. Or die trying. We all have our choices. It's a war of apathy. And I'll keep on trying until I can't try anymore. So once again, what is sustainability? Lab-grown garbage? Or working off the land with animals who eat off the land? who provide us food in exchange for our protection and security. Sustainability is an ecosystem where all work together for the benefit of each other. No, 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 ew, oh. Homesteading, a true perpetual balance in nature. And if done right, 
we just might be able to avoid eating the bugs. Everyone has the ability to take their supply into their own hands. Maybe you can't produce all of your food, but there are solutions so that everybody could get involved in taking care of themselves and their families. If you have any amount of land, small or great, we should all take food production very seriously. At least if you want to eat real food and not the stuff they're trying to pawn on us now. If you have a small yard, try chickens. It's easy to say that you can't do something, but where there's a will, there's a way. We as individuals must fight for ourselves if we're going to persist throughout this difficult time that's bound to come. If we wish to stay out of the webs of deceit laid by the globalists. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Take action and prepare. The food storm is coming. And if you're not prepared, you might just be washed away. I hope this video falls into the right hands and that everyone can be blessed through hearing this. And remember, real food is sustainable. And food is fighting.